Welcome back to my 13 defense series on my pure Iron Man account while I'm bald. Because, uh, I'm bald. If this is your first time visiting the series, let me catch you up a little bit. We've gotten a couple pets on the account. We've gotten a lot of PVM items already. Most of our best in slots have been achieved, but we're not quite done yet. We've gone dry in a couple places, but we've gotten pretty damn lucky in a couple others. On screen are the long-term goals that I have left on the account. I don't really have a particular order that I'm looking to grind these out in, so if there's content you guys would prefer to see first, please leave a comment down below and let me know. These are subject to change as there are new items that'll be coming into the game with the PvP arena and Raids 3 in the near future. As we accomplish items, I can either highlight them with a green X or remove them and replace them with a different item. Let me know down below what you guys would prefer, and we'll update you in the beginning of the episodes and the end of the episodes from here on out. Welcome back, guys. To start off this episode, we are going to get 96 Slayer. Good Christ, we are getting really close. As you can see, we have 464 points, so we are kind of down bad. This is probably hella ragging, but this guy's a tile man account, so we're just going to put a fucking cannon on his tile. Let's just drop this thing here. Ah, that looks good. Have a good day, Sam. Well, here we are. We're going to start doing Godward's Dungeon for the first time on my pure Iron Man. We are 2k total, we have 90 herb, and I just finished Edgar's Ruse for the first time on the account. Well, it's not like you could redo quests or anything. Uh, I have not done making friends with my arm. I don't know if I'm going to do it yet. I kind of want to see how this first trip goes, but we are all kitted up. Finally got Bones to Peaches unlocked. I don't even know if I recorded finishing that or buying them. I don't even know anymore. Hey, me from the future. If you haven't liked the video or subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing so down below. I'm going to leave some timestamps on the screen right here so you can skip past this next portion if you would like. I wanted to include some guide clips kind of explaining how the method works so anybody who's interested in doing some serodome and flicking in the future, it's all inclusive. I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so to start these skills off, we're going to pray range and eagle eye and go to the starting tile. We're going to attack the boss and a tick after those minions spawn, basically when they start to look at you. We're going to run southeast, pray mage into pray range, and then back to the corner on this side. Now, I stay one tile away from the wall, especially off the start, because it's going to give you a longer period between the minions' like attacks. So you're going to look at Bree and Growler, and there's more than a tick between those attacks. I don't know if it's technically two ticks or three, but it gives you a lot more time to f flick your prayers when you're learning. So I had a really tough time when I was starting. This is like my 53rd kill, I believe. So this is still way early on when I was learning. To where I was getting one to two, maybe five kill trips at most and making a ton of mistakes still. And this was like my first perfect kill. So it helped me a ton to have that little bit of extra time to be able to flick my prayers and to kind of understand the rhythm of the room. Now you see I'm attacking Starlight here. We have Zilliana under 100 HP. You want to finish off Starlight shortly after or just before you finish off Zilliana. Uh, if you finish off Zilliana after... Starlight, you have the risk of Starlight respawning, and that is going to jack up your room because you're going to be flicking three minions if you can get them all off ticked. And on a pure, you're going to take like constant 10 pluses from Starlight or one of the other ones if you start missing up. So it uh it definitely helps, and I think is almost like essential to kill them both within a short period of time. That way, you have plenty of time to kill Growler and Bree, and you can kind of get set up for the next kill without totally you know, going through supplies and running out of time. So, uh, really, once you get the rhythm down, it is not bad at all. Like I said, this is really early on in my kills, so uh, still have a little bit of room to improve. I was running through the middle of the room at some points, but a no damage kill nonetheless. So, to start off these kills in the middle of a trip, we're going to pray range, eagle eye, and we're going to attack the boss, and we're waiting one tick after these minions start to spawn and look at you again. So, once again, I'm going to stay one tile away from the wall. That's just how I prefer to do it. And we're going to get back onto our cycle. So, you can pull into that corner right there. And as if you watch the minions right now, they still have that longer pause between. That first, when you go into the corner the first time on that southeast wall, that's really going to dictate the pace between the prayer flicks because it depends on how far you're pulling Bree. Um, although... If you're in the middle of a kill, so like right now, see how they're pretty close to each other in the middle. If you go all the way into this corner and Bree is further southeast, you can act if it's in the middle, like while he's just about to attack, you can actually offset 
those minions to where range will be attacking first before mage and you're going to mess yourself up. Um, so you just have to be mindful of where you're pulling the minions, just kind of like an afterthought and recognizing early if you start taking damage and you haven't changed anything and you're still in that same rhythm that maybe you pull one of those minions further than the other one um, and just kind of take a step back from doing damage on Zilliana and just focusing on what the minions are doing uh, just by, you know, zooming out, just kind of taking a second you know, you may have to burn another stamina dose, or if you're bringing purple sweets, you may have to, you know, use some of them. But overall, it's going to save you a ton of time on your trips instead of, you know, just getting decimated down and trying to do damage, but you're still not flicking the prayers right. So I would just keep that in mind. Um, I'm also going to link little Skitter's guide down in the description as well. He's the OG 13 defense Iron Man account. So his series was sick. That was a huge inspiration why I made this account. Um, and he made a guide on, you know, doing Ceridoman on his, and he understands the game a lot better than I do, and I just watched his guide. I swear to God, I'm at least 100 of those views on that video because I was just refreshing that motherfucker when I was learning. <laughs> I was really struggling when I started out, so I just kept re-watching certain parts of that guide that I was having trouble with, especially the start. Um, and then once you kind of, you know, put in time in the boss room, that's when you kind of understand the rhythm, and that doesn't replicate watching a guide. You know, you have to go into the room, know you're going to lose supplies, and you're going to be spending hours learning it. But once you learn the method, it's really sick. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry if this is really drawn out and, you know, long-winded, but I figured I would just include two sample kills in here. That way you guys have kind of a better understanding if you're doing this on your Iron Pure as well, or just a Pure Iron, or just a Pure account in general. You know, doing Ceridome is a super sick boss, getting the pet would be fresh, and the drops are, you know, worth a little bit of money too. So, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video from here. The one kill I didn't record, man. <laughs> we got a God Sword Shard 2 from Zilliana. So, that is our first drop in 91kc. We take that, man. Currently at a 10 kill trip right now, and we have pretty damn good supplies left too. Alright, our first 100 kills at Ceridome and down. I'm just going to pretend like I didn't just get fucking whacked in the head. But, yeah, we're making so much progress here. It's pretty sick, man. This is so much fun now that I finally understand how to do this shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Um. Oh, boy. Yep. Ah, we died. <laughs> Come on, baby. One more hit. There it is. I don't think I have to. Oh, thank God. We were fully out of stam right there. Finished it just perfectly in time. A 21 kill trip here at Ziliana. Damn, let's go, man. Uh, starting to only bring one brew now and no other food. And this is kind of nice. The only reason I had to end that trip was because I didn't have any stams left. So make it huge progress here. Just got to, you know, keep putting in that time and eventually the drops will come. Oh, there's our first drop, Ceridome and Sword. Um, and I did not do enough damage to Starlight here. This is not going to be good. But there's our first unique at 132kc. Besides the God Sword Char, I don't really include that. Uh, uh, Ceridome and Sword, not too bad. Dude, I might have just fucked myself here. Please just hit this. Oh, dude, Starlight's going to respawn. Fuck. I can't believe I've done this. This is gonna be AIDS. I think we're good. Oh my god, we're fine. A magic seed! Whoa! <laughs> A rune square! Hello? Hey, come on, man. <laughs> Got all this hella farm AXP, dog. Jagex, what is you doing, baby? <laughs> this guy's got the whole squad with him. What the fuck? That's going to put us at another 100 kill count milestone here. 200 KC coming in as Zilliana for the Renar Seeds. Okay, Ceridome and Sword number two at uh, 218 KC. 
Alrighty, well, we got our placeholder, you know, for whenever we go back and we'll go get that Ceratomans tier at some point to make the Blessed Sarasword. Even though we got the blade, it'd be nice to just have it, just to kind of flex on the bank, I guess. Bro, if I have to drink another a stam dose, I'm going to be pissed. Thank you. Dude, another. <laughs> another Saradoman sword. All right. That's our third. Oh, let's go. God Sword Shard 3. I was so afraid to get a dupe shard just from, you know, as the second one I got. That's sick, man. That's why you always finish out the minions whenever you finish up a trip. That's pretty nice. So in my spare time when I've been AFKing, whether I'm at work or doing paperwork or schoolwork or shit, I've been doing some Nightmare Zone. We're already on the hunt going for 99 Slayer. I have three more Slayer helms to recolor. Uh, we already have the Twisted Horns in the bank, so I need to go get a thousand Slayer points to get that done. But we only have one more Slayer Helm to imbue now, and then we never have to imbue another Slayer Helm, which is pretty freaking sick, man. So, at some point, I'm going to go get those 1,000 Slayer points. Oh, thank God. Whew. That was freaking terrible. Good Lord. Another one. Bro. <laughs> we have four Saratoma's swords and, like, 100 kills or something. I don't even think it's been a hundred kills. That's wild. It's my hair. <laughs> dude, dude, <laughs> come on, man. Yo, I'm leaving this trip. Look at this mess. Starlight spawn. I got my hair and got my fifth god or Saradom and sword. This is a wreck. <laughs> Yo, no way. What? Dude, we got one of each shard. Uh, that's our God Sword Blade done, man. So either drop that we get from here is totally useful right from the beginning. What? Yo, that is awesome. Holy shit. Well, it's been a long time coming for this, but we are about to get 99 strength finally. I've just been camped out on Crab Island doing birdhouse runs and AFKing. So we are finally pretty much our maxed combats now. Unless we ever get a scythe and they change it to 80 attack, which I'm pretty sure they're planning on doing. Uh, this is our final stats unless that happens. But pretty sick, man. Another 99 done. We are now 91 combat. Oh, dude, no way. Oh, let's go, man. Hell yeah. There's our Armadale crossbow. 340 KC. Yo, that is so sick. Oh, I thought I was just going to be here for ages, man. Oh, that's awesome. It looks so good. This is like one of the peak items you want to get on your Iron Pure when you start an account. Oh, that is so awesome, man. This is such a fun grind, like, yeah, it was so time-consuming, but it feels so rewarding to get that done. Ah, oh, let's go, dude. Now, eventually, I'll come back for the Saradome and Hilt whenever it's time to learn Inferno and commit to doing that, but I think I'm gonna be done with Saradome for now. Yo, that is so sick, man. Let's go. All right, gentlemen, that's where I'm going to end this episode. This took me about three weeks to get all these kills at Zillion and get that ACB. It feels so good to get that unlocked. It's such a huge item for the account. Let me know what you think about the goal list at the beginning and the end of the videos here. Uh, if this screen with the green backgrounds is a little annoying, please let me know. I could make it like green check marks or something like that instead. Uh, like I said, I read every single comment you guys put down below. I really appreciate all feedback, positive and negative. 
constructive or just bullshit. Just leave it down below. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys are having a great spring. Let's get get to some forlorn homestead. I'm seriously going to try to get these episodes out weekly if I can. Uh, I got like two more videos that I can put together just from content that I've done over the last two weeks. So hope you guys enjoy. Please like, subscribe if you're new. And until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching and peace out.